Let's arrive fully and deeply. And let's try this. Uh, if you're laying down, this happens naturally. But if you could take your head and move it back and up. Okay, so you sit very straight with the spinal cord. Let your rib cage widen. Let your thighs relax out of your hips. And let your shoulders float on top of the rib cage. And in this meditation, we are learning to understand the emotional frustration as grief into the new 5D Earth. It sounds complicated, but it isn't because we have found comfort in our habitual ways of seeing the Earth. All of a sudden, with all this light pouring in, with everything changing in the earth grids, the Christ grid is coming more to light. And remember, if you are here on this call or listening to this recording, you are holding these frequencies of the higher star seed, Christ like unity consciousness vibrations. You are resonating with that because you are the one, the chosen one and chosen by you remembering who you are, okay? In this choice of remembering that you are the chosen one that is holding and carrying this light for you, through you, and holding it for you, for your family, but also for your human family, all of us. When we have made this choice, which we have made a long time ago when we came in, in the remembrance of you holding the light, you will also see more clearly that which has been brushed under the carpet for so many eons. You're starting to feel the grief of the systems not working. You're starting to realize the children, how much they're holding and how incredible advanced they are. You're starting to see the light in the sky. You're starting to understand that there is an underlying memory that is coming up for clearing. And this may come out in rage. This may come up in deep sorrow. This may come up as a rash. It may come up as pain through your body. How do we work with this realizations that are so intense on our physical body avatar? We have to start to identify ourselves with as a universal soul. But that doesn't seem logical at all in this day and age, okay? We know that we are a certain type of person. We're coming from a certain background, society, uh, upbringing. All of that is being shattered now. And looking at the comfort of those identifications as opposed to allowing yourself to identify yourself as a universal soul taken on this beautiful physical body avatar remembering that we are divine and therefore our bodies are divine too this is the first one identifying yourself as a divine universal being soul having a human experience remembering that you are divine and even your physical body avatar we are just getting a little bit of a upgrade here it's like we're gonna redo the walls we have to take off that wallpaper first and you have to scrape and pull and file it and then you can put on the plaster and then you can put on the prime color and the other color and we are developing ourselves in such a way that we're redoing ourselves in the redoing of stepping out into this new world there is no 
habits on the same way that we used to. Everything is changing and it can be overwhelming. So what do we do as a soul and a spirit? We grieve the past, this structure, going to work, having your Starbucks, going to yoga class, coming home, having dinner, having the kids at home or not having the kids at home or having kids all of a sudden. It's all changing, but we are so profoundly open at this time that these changes within us can seem overwhelming. There can come up grief, anger, jealousy, um, and emotions that are so unusual in your own persona they can come up we're making a practice today where we're going to take ourselves first our grown-up selves and we're going to place ourselves in front of ourselves and we're going to look at ourselves we're reminding ourselves that we are of a universal personality we are of the universe the university we are universal we're allowing for ourselves to identify with our soul self as opposed to our physical body avatar selves who are we then all of a sudden we're going from our home our car our job into a universal person. That's a big shift. Within this shift, we have to relax. We have to return to our deepest remembrance of who we are and why we came here. We have to remember that we are of the divine spirit soul self and therefore all is divine including our body including those that bring up and reflect to us whatever it is that we need to work on if it's something happening to your kid to your spouse, to your friend, to your parents, to a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. And we it, ah, it gets us in our hearts, in our throat, we feel compressed. It gets the anger to blow out steam out of our ears, whatever it may be. We place ourselves now and we look at ourselves like a body avatar in front of us and we're saying, hi, let's get these emotions out first you have permission to be all of those emotions here when i'm holding you in front of me after the emotions subside we're now calling in our divine teams divine team come now forward here and support me you don't have to understand the root cause all the time because we're going to go down that long trail that takes us only in the mind and spinning in the mind and the mind and the mind and the stories and the stories of the stories. Now, we're asking the divine ones to assist us. Thank you for these emotions being shown to me. Thank you, person, situation, circumstance that have placed this reaction response on a silver platter in front of me acknowledge the situation the person the circumstance and thank it for bringing up these deep subconscious emotions that are now being presented for us they're only coming up so that we can release it we call in our divine team beautiful angels guides teachers masters ascended masters call in all of them jeshua sanat kumara whoever you are working with mother mary mary magdalene call them in 
and say, I understand now, and I'm ever so grateful for this emotion to come up. Please take out every single thread of this and pull it deeply out of my subconscious now as I with my conscious self and my supra subconscious, my Holy Spirit, my soul self, I am watching you take it out. I am agreeing to picking out every single thread, pull it out like a fishing rope, a fishing net out of my physical body experience now. Everybody work on taking it out of your body now, hold it up and then cut it out with your power fingers and pet, cut it out. Please hand it over to the divine ones to transmute this now. As soon as you have released it from your body avatar, your reflection in front of you, the person you're holding, please fill yourself up now. Fill yourself with this beautiful, sacred peace, harmony, knowing, remembrance of your core self. See yourself now as a little child. Hold yourself like a little wonderful, maybe you're 19, maybe you're a baby, maybe you're five, six, seven, who knows, whatever comes into your mind. And say, hey, little girl, hi, little guy, you're doing great. Look at me, I am now your guardian angel. And look at me, we've done pretty good together here. We're still around, we have some stuff, but we are releasing it, we're seeing it finally, so you no longer have to hide. You are welcome now to enter into my heart. So we take that little one, whatever age it might have been, and we know that this little one is safe. You are safe, you are in my heart, you're doing great. For the situation, person, or circumstance that triggered you, we say thank you for being my trigger. I understand that it is difficult to take that role too. But now as I have seen this response within myself, and I have healed myself, and have patched myself up with this peaceful gratitude, deep harmony, deep love, self-love. And I have released self-judgment. I have released self-hatred. And I have realized that self-hatred comes from when we are children and when we don't get what we need at the instantaneous moment we can't see and understand that the father had to go to work, the mother had to make dinner or go to work or whatever the situation was. As a young human being, the brain has not developed yet. So we cannot understand. We cannot know and understand that. So we always turn to ourselves and create the opposite. Now that we have realized this huge lesson of Earth University, Earth School, we're taking back and commanding and demanding and love and appreciation that we take all of our energies back into our heart, that we collect all of these soul fragments and we become at one, whole, holy, healed, healer. In our deepest knowing, we ask the ancient ones to bring ourselves back so that we can 
re remember our deepest, most profound wisdoms. We call in all of the ascended master, the ascended master that you were, that you are, and become the ascendant master again, mastering and with kind, compassionate wisdom, allowing for yourself to become at one once again, feeling a beautiful stream of light, like a trickling stream dripping down over you, over your body, your physical body, your etheric double, trickling over your emotional body, your higher intellectual body and all of your spiritual bodies and sealing them in gold, in diamond white fire light, in the rainbow diamond energy. <sighs> Breathe it in and see it trickling through your mind through your brain, through your consciousness that relays to you love, remembrance, allowing, harmony, patience, courage, and deep understanding. It's trickling down the mouth of God, your third eye, in and through your throat, your higher heart expands and opens and swirls and dances. Your physical heart and the back of your heart receiving, opening all the ventricles of your heart, pulsating and rhythmically dancing with the soul that flows through your veins, in your blood, in your nerves down into all of the organs and your star self, your solar plexus, all of the organs connecting deeply and fully up into the star systems, the 13 constellations and all of the planets around us as a beautiful fifth dimensional light being self with all of your layers, trickling down into your creative self, releasing any pain and strain and fear from your kidneys and bladder, flushing them out, rejuvenating yourself down and through your root, trickling through your body, down through your legs, your knees, your shins, ankles, and feet chakras into the earth, watering the earth grid down below, all the grid systems that you are part of, takes this as nourishment. And in deep reverence, you are at one connected as above and so below, as within and so without, as your heart and soul, so the universe. You are the one, you are the chosen one. You have come here and you're doing incredibly beautiful work. Thank you for feeling your emotions. Thank you for understanding and transmuting them deep into the subconscious. Forever you are now changed. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. When a beautiful group, you're warmly welcome to join. Again, I'm never giving any medical advice. Thank you. Let me pause.